Former President Donald Trump is back at his New Jersey home after surrendering to authorities in Georgia last night on charges he conspired to overturn the 2020 election loss in that state of Georgia. Meanwhile, today is the deadline day for the rest of his 18 co-defendants to turn themselves in. ABC's M. Wynn reports from outside the Fulton County Courthouse. Donald Trump, inmate number P0113580 for the fourth time a criminal defendant. This time making history as the first sitting or former American president to have their mugshot taken. The former president arrested at the Fulton County Jail in Georgia, facing charges that he was the head of a criminal enterprise to overturn the 2020 presidential election results in the state. Trump still insisting he's done nothing wrong. I thought the election was a rigged election, a stolen election, and I should have every right to do that. The ex-president returning to Twitter, now called X, to share his booking photo, his first post since his account was banned in 2021. His campaign website also featuring his mugshot asking for donations. I will stand before my president. I oh, think he will word. lead our country again. You are not above the law and you are not above consequences. Meantime, lawyer Kenneth Cheesebro, one of Trump's co-defendants, had his request for a speedy trial approved. The start date set for October 23rd. District Attorney Fonnie Willis had asked for all 19 defendants to stand trial at the same time. But after opposition from Trump's attorney, the judge said these deadlines do not apply to any co-defendants besides Cheesebro. Another defendant, John Eastman, is also seeking an expedited trial. The question's going to be how much can the other defendants, in particular Donald Trump, who does not want a trial moving quickly, going to be able to delay the process. Four other alleged co-conspirators, including former Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and former Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark, are seeking to move their case to federal court. Meadows has his hearing on Monday. The former president's upcoming arraignment on these Georgia charges could be his biggest public forum yet, as cameras will be allowed inside the courtroom. M. Wynn, ABC News, Atlanta.